The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Well, today at noontime, London, Dr. David Paul passed away of pancreatic cancer. He weighed 95 pounds. He usually weighed about 160, and he had gone through the last five days of uh, basically being under morphine drip. And so he passed away quietly in his sleep, and he would be greatly missed. I've known him a long time, traveled, oh, so many places, giving seminars. Oh, my God, London, Frankfurt, Copenhagen, Dubai, Zurich, Shanghai, Singapore, Hong Kong. Missing something in there, I'm sure, but uh, those are the ones that I can remember the most. And he's really good. He was uh, basically uh, believed in ABCD, and he believed in uh, Mark Douglas, and he'd be able to bring it across. He was a really strong advocate of Vector Vest and uh, done a great job. Just uh, very, very sad, but I was very happy to see that he finally passed away because, gee whiz, he really didn't look like the person that I knew. And it's always see that. I talked to my friend Byron Tucker today. He happens to be in Marrakesh doing some kind of deal with the Chinese. I don't know what he's doing over there. But anyway, uh, he said that, you know, you're lucky that you get to see so many of your friends pass away because if you die young, you don't get to see that. But boy, I tell you, I don't know if that's luck or not. But this past year, I've lost five people that I really cared about a great deal. I care about everybody. But some of these guys were really my good friends, those coin dealers. And my goodness, I... Eddie Horowitz, Steve Shapiro, oh my God, John Raffoni, I just can't believe they're all gone. That's it. But we're going to be doing a show here on uh, Wednesday, and I want to show you this is the kind of thing that we're going to be looking at here. I want to show you this pattern that we're going to be looking at. This is just a simple ABCD pattern. And what we're looking at here today, folks, is a, a pattern in heating oil. Now, I'm going to show it to you because of what's happening in another market that we're looking at at the same time. So you'll see that the pattern is the same on any time frame. And that's the real key. Oh, please tell me it's posting, but it's not. Now what do I do, Larry? Let's try it again for the 45th time and see if we can get it up here and get it up here to see it. If not, I'm not going to try it again after this. I'm just going to talk, see if it'll last up. Uh, there it is. There's your old ABCD pattern, as you can see. You notice that little green line way up here? That's where the cell was, folks, 298. It's now trading at 295. That's nothing more than a nice little ABCD three drive to a top pattern, one of our favorites. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at this one on a little bit longer time frame. We can get this up here to take a look at it. This will be the daily one for the soybeans, and we'll get this up here to take a quick look at this one. And you'll be able to see we're looking at the same time. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you these patterns at live because what we try to do is to make the, the uh, money that we have invested in this show, which will be $295. We want to cover that expense for you. We've been able to do it the other four times. I think we're going to be able to because we are within one day of a big full moon. The moon here in the desert, folks, is absolutely – it's like not even – it's not even nighttime. It's so bright. That's how – that's how incredibly bright it is. Of course, we're coming in to the, uh-oh, something is ringing the bell. Let's see what it is. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, man, you got to love this. Ah, good, 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 good. I just can't believe this is terrific. Keep the cards and letters coming in, folks. Okay, let's move on here for just a second here. And I want to talk to you just a little bit. Uh, about the uh, soybean market. I want to take a look at this chart very, very closely, folks, because you can see here we're coming down very, very sharply. I mean, we're down, we opened down 10 cents and now we're down 46 cents in the in the November soybean. So we've destroyed support in, in both corn, wheat, and soybean meal, but uh, the soybeans are still holding up for new crop. You'll notice that we are within five cents of the 382, but that is not a good 382 for being a buy. And the reason for that is you've got a big gap down, okay, and you've got a really big, big, wide ranging bar. 
And so those two things, the wide-ranging bar and the gap, nullifies, you know, looking at 382 patterns. So that's why you want to pay close attention. These are the, the little nuances that we cover. It's all part of when we look at these flashcards that you'll be getting, showing you how to line up the pattern and how they, they're supposed to line up. That's what you're going to be watching. So make sure that when you're looking at those things, that those are the ones that you want to be able to uh, see that uh, that's what you need to be doing because those are the ones that, of course, you know, are the most important to be looking at. I hope that helps because as we're doing this each day, you know, markets change and they have different, uh, what do you call it, uh, styles and, and patterns that unfold. And that's what we try to do during the day day session is to look for those like today the biggest thing is the fact that the dow jones is so much stronger than everybody else you know it just doesn't want to go down in fact it's rallied here about 60 70 points in the last 15 or 20 minutes but the good part today was the fact that the gold and the treasury bonds did exactly what you wanted to do and the reason why i had a an, an interesting um email from someone over the weekend and says, are you going to try to pick a top in the stock market again on Monday? And I said, I wrote in a letter when I did the letter, I said, look, you know, I don't know what's going to happen to the stock market, but let's do what we do best and let's look for patterns. And we had two absolutely perfect patterns. We had a perfect ABCD Gartley in gold. It's rallied $20. We had a perfect ABCD pattern in Treasury bonds, they've rallied almost a thousand dollars. And that's where my that's where my forte is. I don't know what's gonna happen from this level, but you know what folks, nobody else does either, and it's not really important. The important thing is do what you do best, be happy with what you're doing. And you know, I'm not I'm not gonna try to outguess these markets. Folks, I have I'm when we come back from this first break, I want to share with you some of these uh, magnificent seven stocks that what they've done because they they are still going up. I mean, you look at look at Apple. It's back to 196. Nvidia is making a new high. Uh, Broadcom is making a new high. Uh, Tesla's not doing too much. Uh, Google's made a new high. I mean, that's not a sign of weakness. And then when you look what's happened to the Chinese market, I put that in here today to look at it. The FXI, and that's had the biggest weekly up move in in four or five years. And that's coming off of a higher bottom. Boy, that you don't want to fade that. And of course, if these these things are worldwide. Then, then you've got to be able to pay attention to what you're looking at as you're going through these. So that's the important thing to remember as you're as you're watching these things unfold, because that's that's where the real money lies. You've got to be able to stay with a position that you have a chance of winning at. Okay, that you know that you don't have very much to risk, and you can do that with anything as long as you put in a stop. But the whole key is you got to be able to put in a stop because if you don't put in a stop. You know, you're you're uh, you're flying blind, and flying blind is not any good. It's not how much money you make in this business; it's how much money you don't lose, and that that's the whole key to to what you're doing in here. So let's do that, and that's what you really want to focus on. But the fact that we've had this nice start in the uh, in the gold market, I also wanted to to show with you one of the things we're also going to cover. Yes, I'm going to show you the AI program because a lot of times it'll give you an idea of what the trend of the market's going to be. Now, here is the trend, and we're going to show you how to do this, too. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Attention traders, Larry Pesavento, the renowned trading mastermind, is holding an exclusive live trading event on Wednesday, August 2nd. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Time, transform your trading skills with the real-time wisdom of a Wall Street veteran. Just $295 gets you a front row seat to this power-packed session, plus a month free of Larry's sought-after newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7 a $97 value. Elevate your strategies, decode the markets, and achieve your financial goals. Remember, this event will be archived for all attendees, and Larry only does a few of these a year. Don't miss this opportunity. Sign up today at TFNN.com. Secure your future and start trading smarter. TFNN, educating investors. 
Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call, call, call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Okay, folks, I'm going to tell you how messed up our country is, is when you have the blockbuster films in the U.S. are Barbie doll and J. Robert Oppenheimer's film with all those superstars that are in there. And it's outselling Barbie. Barbie is outselling it two to one. Boy, oh, boy. That's really amazing. I have to tell you a funny Barbie story, folks. My little daughters, I had two daughters, of course, a year apart, but the, it was when they're their sixth and fifth uh, Christmases, they wanted a Barbie, uh, pen, a Barbie penthouse, and I had to put it together. I had two of my neighbors over. We didn't finish it till like four in the morning. Of course, part of that was three or four glasses of wine. But in when the uh, Santa finally left, when they came down to look at it, Santa had put the exit sign upside down and uh, <laughs> Jill Jill said I think Santa must have had some wine when he put this together I mean I laugh so hard I still laugh about it every Christmas when I think about it but anyway I don't understand how that could be with, with the what happened with Oppenheimer and the nuclear bomb and star, the, the atomic bomb I, I well, what do I know? I don't know that stuff. Anyway, I wanted to also mention I met uh, with the David uh, Paul in Las Vegas on uh, April 26th when I was giving my speeches over there at Money Show. He was there visiting clients, and we had a nice chat and everything. He was in great health. Uh, about three or four weeks ago, he we went to the doctor, and the doctor said, get your affairs in order. You won't be here at Thanksgiving, and uh, that was around the 2nd of June, and here we are, uh, the end of July, and he lasted six weeks but a few would have seen what he looked like i had a picture but i didn't want to share it with you because that's not how i want to hit, want him to be remembered which i won't but uh, it was a little difficult it's uh in the inter inter let's move on to these other things. i posted a chart the reason why i'm not various folks if you look at the german dax breaking out if you look at the, what's happening with the hang Seng index if you look what's happening with the uh chinese market these these markets are exploding to the upside and we're not actually going down you realize we've been up five months in a row. We've been up 14 days. I think this might be the 15th day for the Dow Jones, which by far exceeds anything else. So I, I pick the things that are easy. You know, if you're going to go be like a shark, go after the things that are that are hurting. Don't go after the big whale that's you know got a lot of strength. And so that that's what I'm doing. So I showed you some of these. I want to I want to go through a couple more because they're really uh, they're really quite spectacular. Let's take a look here at Nvidia. I mean, here's another one that's making new highs today. Uh, I believe I know it's really close. If not, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. And then I'm going to just do a few of them so you can see what I was looking at. Now, remember, I'm not a stock trader. I'm an S&P trader, and I look at short-term patterns. You know, I can sell the S&P anytime I want to because I'm looking at a short-term pattern, 15 or 30 minutes, and I know what my risk is going to be. But to put a long-term position on and using, say, risking 3 or 4%, I'm not going to do that because I want to do something that will give me a good return, and I don't have to risk very much. And that's this here could easily break out to the upside and go far, far beyond. So you can see NVIDIA. Uh, right there. We've already looked at Apple. Let's take, we already know what Meta is, but just take a look at it and you'll be able to see uh, what Meta has done. And it's still going up. And hold us, get this up here so you'll see it. And uh, take a quick look at it here as we walk through these. I've, uh, I, here's where we go. All right. Oh, that one didn't post. I'm going to try it again. Just a second here. This is frustrating as heck to me, folks, because I get these things ready for you. And then when I try to put them in the program, they don't do it. Let's take a look at a couple others that are really going nuts to the upside. This next one, of course, is going to be Broadcom. And it's also one that is making new highs, I believe, today. If not, it is very, very close. So Apple, I watch each day. Microsoft. Uh, Tesla, those are the ones that people are watching, but there's a lot of them up in here. Boys and girls, I can promise you one thing Curly said in the old uh, City Slickers. I know one thing, and I know one thing really well, and that's ABCD. And when this market starts down, I'm going to be there, and you're going to be there with me. Hey, we made a great move today in the gold and then also in the treasury bonds and also in the crude oil. We just miss getting stopped. Well, so far we just get miss, just just miss getting stopped out of crude oil. Anyway, let's take a uh, another look at a couple other of these uh, stocks here that we're watching because uh, they're the ones that are in the news all the time. And there's the one that when they do turn, and I'm not sure they will, that uh, they will sometime, of course. But uh, there's a few that are that are that are lagging behind, and I wanted to give you an indication here of one called Tesla. Now, that's an interesting one because it has nothing to do with the automobile. It's all about data mining and all the other stuff that Elon Musk has his fingers in, the, uh, all the space stuff that he's involved with, too. But you can see here it went up to the 61% uh, retracement here exactly up there at 300. Now it's trading down around that 260 uh, area. I'm not, I'm not sure what it's doing today, probably strong you know, like uh, some of the stocks are, but it's not a Dow stocks, so it's not nearly as strong as looking at it. But let's take a look here at the uh, German DAX. Uh, just I showed you what it was before, but I wanted to show you what happened. I showed you what happened on that other stock that I was looking at. But look where it was here on Friday. This is why I said, gosh, I can't be bearish this because this doesn't have any indication at all. And if it opens the slightest bit higher, you know, that's not going to be bearish to the U.S. because most of these money managers, you know, they tag along with whatever is going. And we, we gapped up above this, you know, by a considerable amount. So that's why I was not looking for a top today. And so maybe I'll look for it tomorrow, but I'm not looking for it today. My game plan today was to stick with the, you know, look, try to buy the gold, try to buy the silver. And believe me, and silver was exactly the same way. But today was a tough day for me emotionally because I heard it. this was at 1 o'clock in the morning that uh, I got the news from uh, Tom, who had been with uh, David, and told me that he had passed away peacefully uh, in his sleep, which we were very happy about because, boy, he was – he, you didn't. You could. You couldn't recognize him. It was not a, a fun thing. Now let's take a quick look. I want to show you what happens when these mark. I posted the chart of the soybeans. Okay. And now what I want to do now is I want to put the chart of the soybeans up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in as where we were Friday, and this was a little bit after the, our our show. But we were heading down, and we were talking about it on the air because what we were looking for. This is the market had broken badly, and I said, watch for a nice 382 retracement to get short. And there it was with about uh, two hours into the day. Now, to close, you can see here we went right up to the exact 382. Today we gapped down. You see the gap right there? That was a 10-cent gap from 85 to 75, 1385, 1375. And now we're trading at 1340. That's a 50-cent drop, $2,500. 
in one day. I mean, it this these grains have been decimated today, folks. The weather must be uh, like in Camelot because uh, there is not a they're not a bull in sight today because they've destroyed all, all. And I mean all support. I mean just absolute massacred it, with the exception, of course, of the essence of the uh, November soybeans, which has some support, ten cents lower. But frankly, like I mentioned, with that big wide range gap and that long ranging bar, I wouldn't touch that with a ten foot pole, maybe a twenty foot pole. Let's take a break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted the chart of the heating oil, and I'd like for you to notice a little red arrow that's there, which is the 382 retracement of that whole move. Uh, that number came in at 298. The high today on September heating oil was 298.45, uh, I believe. Yeah, 29845. It's now trading three cents under that. So that was an indication that there was a possibility of that being a high. Now, these are the kinds of things that we're going to be doing on Wednesday. What we're going to be doing is we're looking at hourly charts, 
Occasionally there might be a daily chart. All we're going to try to do is find simple patterns that you'll be able to learn how to do by yourself when you get home. And it'll be recorded, so you'll be able to watch it more than once. Plus, you're going to get three books, uh, three PowerPoint presentations, a set of flashcards, and access to me as far as get the videos that you get every day for a month along with the newsletter. Also, in a comment, you know, people have asked me, what's my relationship with uh, with John Jameson? It's not changed. It's strengthened. I mean, John is just a different person, folks. He is uh, – he, he is. I've only met a few people like him. In the 60-some years I've been doing this business, and no one can do what he does. I mean, he's so talented in so many areas. He was all self-taught by his mother, who happened to be a teacher, and he knows so much about so many different things. He started his business learning computers, and boy, he knows computers backwards and forwards. He knows the Internet. He knows blockchains, all that stuff. Plus, he knows art, mathematics. And, heart, and, of course, he was trained at Sotheby's. He took a two-year course at Sotheby's in, uh, in England and London to learn about art because he believes art is a picture of the world. Anyway, but anyway, what he's, he does is different things. He thinks differently. He looks for un undervalued assets, and he's very good at what he does. How many times does he trade a year? Maybe four. But uh, when he does, he uh, I haven't seen him miss one. The old... He's, he just he's good at what he does. He's very, very smart. And so we continue. I talk to him every day for at least an hour a day, seven days a week for the last four and a half years. And I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. I learn a lot and uh, it makes it good. But I only do one thing, folks. I don't try to I don't try to say that I do anything more than one thing. I know how to do one thing really well and I know how to pick out patterns. Am I right all the time? Absolutely not. But I'm right more wrong, more than I'm wrong. And when I'm wrong, I get the hell out of Dodge, okay? Because, you know, what, what am I going to do? I'm not going to st stand there in front of it, you know, and, you know, pick certain bottom. Like last night in the middle of the night, I could see a, a beautiful ABCD in the S&P at uh, 95, 45, 95. The low was 40, 45, 94 and a half, I believe. And it rallied 20 handles. I, I didn't. I didn't even do that trade because I was in gold and I was also looking at the uh, crude oil market and also the treasury bond. So I was busy. Plus, at one o'clock, I found out that we'd lost our friend, and that put a damper on everything. So anyway, that's what I wanted to explain to you. I don't try to make an, any uh, qualms about you know what I do or how I do it because it's quite simple. You know, I look at ABCDs. It's basically what Mandelbrot taught, what Gartley taught, and um, what, what I teach is ABCDs. I don't do Elliott Waves type, type stuff. And, uh, and and it's really amazing because Elliot and I had the same birthday. And so I don't think that means that. You want to know what's really strange? When I was in Westlake Village, and I, I know I did know, this was long before John Hill, long before Fibonacci. It was 1967 when I bought my first house there. I, my phone number was 312 255 one six one eight. That was my phone number. Okay. <laughs> when I went to Drexel, okay, in 1976. Of course, by then I know Fibonacci. We had little, we had little lockers that you could put your stuff in uh, if you wanted to lock it up. And my locker number was three eight two. And I, I just, uh, it's just truly amazing how that number has followed me around. And every time I look at the clock, I got a digital clock. It's always, it seems like it's always at two two two, six six eighteen, you know, three one four. It's got, you know, it's just really amazing. It's, uh, it's it just really amazing how the number follows me. I got to share with you about inflation. This is from our good friend Rich Anderson, but this is the price of tomato soup, folks. Over the past hundred and some years, you want to think inflation's not been bad here in the United States? Ah, this is frustrating. Take a deep breath, Larry. Okay, I got a deep breath. We're going to try it again right here. We're going to. Get, I want you to see this one because this really shows you how things have inflated here over the past hundred and some years. Which you know, not stop and think of these things. Everything's inflated, folks. In 1933. Uh, 1932 or 1930, I think it was 32, uh, John uh, Kennedy Sr., John Kennedy's father, bought the Merchandise Mart on Chicago River in Chicago, okay? He paid, uh, I think at that time, it was a million and a half 
or something like that. It was some ridiculously cheap figure because it was the largest standing building in the world at that time. And uh, a business type building, okay, with square feet. And they kept it in the in the family until, I believe, 50 years, 1978. And when they sold it, the the amount of money that was getting every rent was $12 million a month. Remember, he paid a million and a half for it. And he was getting $12.5 million a month uh, uh, income off of it. And, uh, boy, it's, it's still standing. It's still there. If you ever go to Chicago, take a look. You'll see the merchandise marked there right on the Chicago River. Anyway, but look at tomato soup, folks, how much it's gone from 10 cents a can to a buck 25. That's not much considering 10 times over all those years, in my opinion, because I still, that's one of my favorite things is cream of tomato soup with Campbell's. I, I didn't, I don't pay attention to prices, but I didn't realize that they were a buck and a quarter a can. The last time I looked, it was like 60 cents or something, but Sarah does all the shopping, so that I'm not going to worry too much about. Okay, what are we doing here with the markets? Uh, well, we've got... Uh, the uh, S&P is back up on the day, I guess. This is good. And we, Dow Jones is up on the day. The only one's down so far is the NASDAQ. So it's all holding up together so far today with uh, another hour and a half to go. We've got bonds uh, right near the high of the day. We've got gold right near the – oh, gold is right near the high of the day within a dollar. It's up nine bucks. And we got silver up 46 cents. So they're acting all pretty good so far today. So – it uh, looks like we're going to be uh, having a – well, with two hours to go, it's anybody's guess which direction it moves. But we are in an area where we can move in either direction. I'm not concerned about where the market goes, folks. I'm looking at different patterns. And believe me, with this volatility that we're seeing in the grains, the crude oil, all these things are going to have great patterns because nothing ever changes. The patterns are the same no matter what you're looking for. So that's the key thing to pay close attention to. We've got a break coming up here shortly. I'm not thinking how much time we got. We've only got a minute to go, but I want to talk a little bit tomorrow about um, Jim Bartolioni will be on. He's got some really good information about the Treasury bond market. You remember about uh, two and a half months ago, he showed us the 382 retracement in the uh, regional banks on the uh, NASDAQ and that they were getting ready to fall out of bed and fall out of bed they did. You know, we should take a look at that when uh, Jim's on the program tomorrow to see what the rally has been on the way back because the rest of these things have rallied quite a bit and I imagine that's going to be the same thing that they have going on here too. So we'll be paying close attention to both of those uh, today. So take a break here, take a deep breath, come back with us 877-927-6648 You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I've just taken a short-term look at the E-mini S&P, and there's an ABCD pattern for you right there at uh, 4609. Now, the stop on that would be 4612, and uh, so we risk only $150. And, of course, if it moves $150 in your favor, put your stop at break even, you'll see what the market's going to give you. But that's basically the type of thing that we're going to be looking at on several different markets. We might not go down to this shorter time frame, but this is sort of a, a mini commercial for what we're looking at. Usually it's 15 and 30 minute. That way it gives a whole day for the thing to work. So that's pretty much what we what we try to look at. OK, the other fo folks, if you've never gotten a copy of uh, Tom Hugard's a paper that he wrote that was a prelude to the book, The Best Loser Wins. Uh, that's a really great paper. If you want that paper, you know, just drop me an email, Larry at tradingtutor.com. I'll send that paper to you. It's about five pages long. It gives you a little a bird's eye view of what he did. And then, of course, the book is a you know really goes into in depth all the stuff, what he thinks about, and how he thinks it. Uh, David Paul was really important to Tom 20 years ago. I, that's when I first met Tom. He met David just about four years after me. And um, what David showed him how to do is because David is very can be very was very aggressive. He was a uh, a uh, marine in South Africa in Johannesburg, and so he was very very physically fit. And you know he just he could still do one arm push up, one arm push up. So two years ago when we were in London, anyway, what what he did was he said, look, Tom, you make most of your money by pressing. You know, in other words, if the market's going down, sell more. If the market's going up, buy more. Trade strong trending markets and keep pressing and pressing until it doesn't work anymore. And so Tom started to do that, and he was very good at it. And that's how he, he did so well with it. And Tom always attributes to the fact that it was David that got him to do that. I am not able to do what Tom does because I'm risk averse. I've been doing this for a long time. I make a good living at it. Uh, some days when I come in, I have asparagus for sale. I'm trying to buy broccoli. I don't know what I'm going to do. All I'm going to be looking at is the patterns that try to, you know, get me to, you know, what I'm trying to do. That's really, that's really what I'm trying to do. So that's pretty much it for what I'm looking at. Okay, so uh, that's all I can tell you. I don't know any more than that, and I'm sticking to it. So I just wanted to give you a heads up. Uh, that's what I do do, and, and that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make some money. We have in the other four sessions, and I'm pretty sure we will tomorrow also. But um, the other thing is I'm going to be teaching. You're going to get a lot of books. You're going to get some videos. Some of the PowerPoint presentations are they're, they're my favorites. I love doing it. Folks, I work hard. This work hard. What am I talking about? It's not even hard work. It's the fastest five hours that I do the whole year is the, those five hours of training. We take a break to take a drink of water or a nictorician break. And other than that, we don't take a break. All we're doing is we just go ahead and trade and ask questions, and we get a lot of things done and have a lot of fun doing it. So it's five hours straight. If you think there's going to be lunch or anything like that, nope. 
not going to happen. That is not going to happen. What we're trying to do here is to teach you what we do and how it works, show you live that it can be done, and that's what we're trying to do, okay? Nothing more, nothing less. You'll be able to ask questions and whatever else you have to ask. Uh, you'll be able to get my email. Of course, I do that anyway. And you have my phone number if you ever have to call me. Anyway, those are some of the things we're going to be doing on Wednesday. Tomorrow, we got uh, Jim Bartolioni. And I wanted to cover a couple other charts here. So bear with me here one second. There's another one here uh, in the market that is uh, getting ready for something really, really big to happen. And I want to bring it up here. And show you where it is right here. Oh, no, no, no. Up, oh, this is it right here. This is it. I want to show you what's happened to corn, folks. Here is the price of corn. You'll notice the high we made here last week, which we pointed out several times, was exactly a 61% retracement of the move that we made from the high. Right on the money. Okay. And what did it do? You can see it come right down to the exact 61% retracement, misses it by three cents. And now, folks, we're down into this level right here. We're approaching this level right here, folks. We're going to be there with the move we had today. Uh, we're going to be there very – maybe we were already there. Let me double-check the price of that. Uh, no, that, that comes in at between 510 and uh, $5, and we're, we're, uh, not, we're not close to – well, whoa, we are. Yes, we are. We're very, very close. We, I got to pay close attention to that because this is only the last day of July, folks. We've got all of August and part of September is still the growing season. Now, for soybeans, the pollination starts here in a week. There's a two-week period between the first two weeks of August that if anything bad happens, look out because those markets can catch on fire in a heartbeat. So that's why it's weather-related and you've got to be really careful. It's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. And that's the, the whole process of what we're trying to do here to uh, get to where we want to be and make a few bucks. That's the, that's the whole key. All right. Okay, now there's another one that I need to focus on. Hold on one second and, and see several people uh, have asked me about it. And that, oh, there it is right here. It's Mr. Copper. Copper is acting incredibly bullish, folks. I don't know if it's a, it's a, uh, a byproduct of what's happening with silver and gold. But as you can see here, by looking at the price of copper, uh, we've been down here. We've made higher bottoms all the way through here. And even with the market backing off for two days, copper keeps going higher and higher. Now we're moving to the upside. This is a very, very powerful pattern, folks. That was another reason why I said, well, maybe I better not try to sell the market because that might not be the right thing to do today. And that's what we're watching here as we look at these markets here today. You can see that copper is in the process of easily breaking out to the upside. And that's another one that makes me scared. The main one was seeing the DAX doing what it is because that's a German market. And they said they were out of recession. Whether that means anything, I don't mean anything, but the chart does. And then also we looked at the Hang Seng, looked very bullish. And the Chinese market, a monster move last week. And it's continuing. It gapped up again today. And it, the Hang Seng and the Chinese markets were stronger today, too. So, I mean, these guys all work together. So, you know, I don't know if the market's ever going to go down. But it's been up for, what, uh, five straight months, 15 straight days in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Never happened before. I'm looking for a place to sell. I got my Superman sell uh, cape on, but <clears throat> it has to, they don't let me tie it on yet until I – can see the whites of their eyes, and then I know I got a chance for something significant uh, to the downside. So I hope that makes sense to you, but that's the way I play things, and that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, there is one other book that I don't give out very often, but those of you that attend tomorrow, I have a PDF file of H.M. Gartley's book, uh, 600 pages, which uh, has some of the best charts you'll ever see. In fact, there's every chart pattern you want to see between pages 200 to 250. Those are the patterns that I studied uh, to get back into the game way back in uh, 1974 after I had uh, lost a couple of bucks. Uh, anyway, that will be there. It will be available to you. If you want to uh, use that, I was uh, responsible for getting that book reprinted when I was at Drexel through Billy Jones at Lambert Gann, and I had the rights to it for a while. So that's another book that I don't give out very often. All right, we're going to take a break, folks. 877-927-6648.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, you just made your four points in the S&P. You just hit uh, 505, which was the four cents we were looking for. You could put your stop at break even, let it rip, or you could take your profit. But I wanted to bring to your attention when I talked to you about the uh, soybeans. And this show started, I posted the fact that it was coming down and we were going to be looking at a 382 retracement and how dangerous it would have to be. But I reposted that up to date today. Folks, <laughs> you're not going to believe it, but the low in the soybeans today with all this stuff down 50 cents and everything else, guess what? The low was exactly the 382, and you're going to get over 100 charts showing you the importance of the 382 retracement. They're in a file that I've kept over the years to show you all the different things in all different markets. These are how these, these uh, guys do these algorithms that you fight with every day, so... Very, very important to pay close attention to that, boys and girls. But that'll be what's going on tomorrow on Wednesday. Tomorrow we got Jim Bartoleone uh, as our guest, and we'll have a bunch of charts to look at, see what these markets are doing. But uh, one of these days, the market will have a correction, maybe as much as two days. Who knows? But anyway, we'll see what's going on. It's just numbers, and all it is, folks, would look numbers and patterns. 
fit it together, where the numbers come from, and uh, we'll have a great time doing it. It will be the fastest five hours that you'll do during the whole uh, time of the, this, the rest of this year. It'll be the fastest five hours because it goes very, very quickly. Uh, and, and, and it is a lot of fun. At least it is for me, and that's why I do a couple of these uh, every year. Okay, that's, I think that's pretty much it. We got the bells on the wall are telling us it's time to uh, move on, uh, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless folks. And do me a favor. Uh, may say a little prayer for our good friend David White. I know, I know he's with the Lord right now. And also be good to your neighbors. That's what you need to do. 